afternoon, this is Trey with BuildIdaho.com in an effort to bring you the best information about buying and building new homes. Today we're going to uh, do a video tour of a home, but I've got really bad news for every builder in town. This is one of the most technically correct homes I've ever visited. This home's different, we're going to talk about this home today, but uh, as you can see we've got younger looking people. This is actually a Meridian High School home, so they take an entire year and they build a home and their job is to get it done correctly. They don't get paid for saving money or time or anything like that. They get a grade and they get the A, you gotta get it done right. So we're gonna take a look at all the little components of this house that are done. It's extremely tight home. So I invite every builder to come take a look at this home. We're at Wildwood today, uh, which is off of, well, Fair, Fairview is this way, um, Eustick is this way, and this is Wildwood. And uh, I invite every builder to come out and take a look. And uh, this home is actually a Habitat for Humanity home. So someone will be getting this home, a lucky person, and uh, they'll get a great price on it. All right, this is Cameron Cole, and he's with Mountain View High School, and he's one of the workers here. And we're just going to ask him a few questions about this. Cameron, okay, I guess my first question is tell me about like the size and the style and everything about the home. Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's about a 1,200 square foot home, it's average house, uh, five bed, two bath. How many students are working here on a regular uh, basis? Regular basis, this class is 14 kids, the next class has about 18 I think. And you all start after foundation goes in and you build framing and you do every piece except for like electrical trade, HVAC and yep. plumbing. Yep, that's correct. Light license stuff. So tell me from a student perspective, what's it like to be able to build a house? Uh, Pretty great experience, you know. It's uh, good learning, and uh, it's nice to. Your teacher feel. seems phenomenal. I met that yeah. guy. From, he's a wonderful he's, guy. He's great. He's now, what's your all's? How do you get graded? Um, really, it's on participation and uh, improvement, I guess, in the skill. Okay. I mean, uh, if if you're in there doing doing your best, you know, working hard, then you get a good grade. If you're hanging out in the trailer all day, you probably <laughs> won't get such a good one. All Tell right. me what you think about this house. Uh, well, so far it's a really great, real well put together. Didn't quite pass the electrical the first time, but we got it passed now. It's reached, uh, I think, 93% efficiency on the uh, air infiltration okay. factor. And, uh, and what stage of the home is are, are we working on now? Uh, we're working, we got it all framed, got it all electrical and all that, and uh, we're working on insulating it, uh, trying to get on our way to uh, setting up some drywall for Perfect. it. Perfect. All right, thank you. Yep, thank you. All right, this is Srila and Julia. They're both on the job site here today. And tell me, what task are you guys working on today? Today we are working on taping the insulation inside the house, taping all the cracks. So I have a compliment for you. I think, I, I told this earlier in my opening, but this is one of the most technically correct homes I've ever seen being built. Just all the little details of taping and caulking and everything that gets done. So how does your teacher, I guess, teach you? What, what, what do you learn about building through this class? Um, we learned that every little detail counts. There's a family that's going to live in this home, so the bit more higher, the higher quality the home is, we know the better it'll work for them. And it also to make it more energy efficient, we make sure every little thing is exactly right and sealed the correct way. Now you want to be a doctor, which we think is great. So why are you taking a construction class? Um, I just love working hands-on, and it's just kind of something different from the rest of my school day. Very cool. And Shula, tell me about your your ambitions in life. Um, I want to go into construction management because this class is really just like made my love grow for construction and so construction management is probably where I'm headed. All right, well get back to work. <laughs> Will do. Matt, this home has the benefit of having a grade upon it rather than a price. So as I said earlier, it's one of the most technically correct homes being built I've really paid attention to. So tell me some of the finer points that they really nail. Uh, they nail energy sealing down quite well, I mean, they go to the extreme of doing everything. Yeah. They I mean, don't want any error in this house. Yeah, they get paid for details. They don't right. get paid for uh, being efficient. Right. So they have a good heating vac or HVAC system company that comes in and does air sealing like crazy also. Who is that company? We'll give them a credit. Steelhead. 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 Yeah. We'll find out the name. I'll post it. <laughs> and then they also do just the fine detailing of Tyvek. They use the tape, they use the special cap nails, and just nobody uses the tape. So that when the wind blows, there won't be any blowing of the tie back. It's just an amazing process. It's durable, and now you don't have any gaps. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. All right. 
Matt, tell me about this Outside. ceiling they have here. They've got this aluminum looking cover it's, between the roof and the It's insulated here. material. It's got an R, almost an R10 value. So it's going to add, once they put the insulation on top of it, so instead of an R38, it's going to be an R52 with that thin layer. So on an area like this where an empty cavity is, they've gone and done all the air sealing of each cavity. So you have no gaps, no voids at all coming from the outside to inside. With the caulk on each plate and the top wire, top plate, and through the utility boxes, everything is covered. All right, I want to introduce you guys to the team. This is Team Ingers, and this is the Meridian School District Construction Program. And uh, in the middle here, we've got Mark Ingram, Ingers. So Mark, just tell me briefly about the program and what's accomplished here and how it works together with Habitat for Humanity. Well, the program works very well for everyone involved. It is a great opportunity for students to learn a hands-on, real reality of world of work on the job site. We teach it just like if you were working on a construction site. Uh, the students build the home from the foundation up. There's only four items we don't do to the home, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, as well as the concrete work. But everything else will be accomplished and completed within one year's time with the students. So this is all a habitat situation where they benefit on the issue of the home being built. We benefit from the fact that it is an opportunity for students to get a great learning opportunity without costing the district any money other than the fact that obviously district the loves that by the way <laughs> uh, salary scenario and this yeah. kind of thing uh, which is great it's a win-win proposition as well as the third party well, the homeowners is another win because they have a very efficient home for the price they pay for yeah it. and I have a compliment for you guys I do I've done a number of two video tours and I've done been in many new, new homes this is the most technically correct home I think I've ever been in. So well, congratulations you. to you guys. I mean seriously, all the caulking and taping and details you all taking to nail it, good job. So congratulations. And that's the beauty of the program. The kids do this. You, you don't see me out doing all these things. It's the students who are truly building the program and building the home. This is the tenth home in ten years. So this is our decade home basically. And uniquely enough, the students have basically set the standards for a lot of the issues in Energy Star, which is fantastic. And the hat's off to them. They've done a terrific job. And the kids themselves are self aware thinkers. They can do some problem solving. They think on their feet. They can come back with some great questions and say, shouldn't we need to change this to make it more efficient or make it correct? The future of Treasure Valley housing is here the for builders. The, the future, future of Treasure future, Valley yes. builders. Uh, in many ways, if not the architects or the construction managers or the contractors. Right. Themselves. Let me just pick out Brandon here. Brandon, what year are you? Second. Second year. year. And uh, tell me, why did you decide to get into the, this construction program? Because uh, for college, I want to go into construction management. And when I was a kid, and that's just been in my blood to do construction work. So I found this class through my high school, and so it's just the class I decided to do. And I loved it last year, so I came back this year again. Are you going to get an A? Uh, well, it's up to him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys very much. We traveled about two miles down the road here, and I wanted to show you guys. This is a uh, Habitat for Humanity subdivision, and each of these homes is owned by a person with a different nationality, actually. So they're from different different countries. But real quickly, uh, and you can help me out here, this home was built by volunteers. I've got Matt here with me, as you can tell. But uh, this home was built by prisoners, we, we, you said. With corrections. The, and correctional people and, and the green home was built by the students students and the yellow home volunteers volunteers as well so anyway you know this is kind of a, an interesting situation but uh, this is a habitat for humanity subdivision but as you can see we've got architecture we've got trim we've got style decor these are nice homes they're not just your basic box pop-up home and they're more energy efficient than they're all most. energy star certified as well and they're more energy efficient than most out there they have 97% furnaces, tankless water heaters, um, R52 in the attic, just an all-around good construction.